Okay, so the Papal State and Tuscany are carving up Savoy, which is good. It makes them stronger, and since they're my allies, well, it's only going to work out for me better. So there we go, we get Utrecht back on the map. I don't know if they're going to be all that friendly towards me or not, but we can gun down what's left of Burgundy in ten years. But we still need coal to fall. So you there, Utrecht, you have a lot of development, but are you small enough to want to be my f Yes! Yes, you are. Shame about the whole Protestant thing, but I'll shake that out of you. Now, Poland actually came out alright with that whole Austria thing. My diplo, huh? That's not hurting me too bad. Jake, take Calais now, and no one can attack Burgundy except you and whoever controls Friesland. That's fine. Calais will be mine next. I don't want to take the unnecessary aggressive expansion there. Since that is the real stickler. Plus, Aachen will probably be falling soon enough. Even though it's outside of the land that I'm intending on taking. Ugh, that is a bit of a pain. Well, Bremen's still at war with Cologne, right? Cologne's gonna lose a fair chunk more yet. Have there any been any notable PUs? There's been a notable lack of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Otherwise, I rather think not. Here we are at the limit again for... Uh, we haven't taken a single admin idea, which is why we've been suffering so much. Let's just up that, uh, or Vaska the admin points. Once Colon falls, Bremen can take a touch more, and then I'll be taking Friesland by force. Diplomatic force. Also, I want your trade power as much as I can get. It helps with relations, trust me. probably build up military buildings as well. I need to be all that much stronger than France for when we next clash. There we go. Goodbye, Koren. I have no qualms giving Gorm to Frankfurt. It's up to them if they want it. They do not. I wonder why, though. They see it as a uh, decent province to have, but who am I to blame them? I want the war reparations. I want... I don't care about your military access there. Friesland I don't really want back on the map, I guess. Those cores could be useful, we're gonna keep them there, just in case there's another coalition war. Oh yeah, that seems fair enough. We'll give up your claims on my allies so we remain good friends. It's a shame we don't touch. I really wish we touched but I don't want to give that up just yet. And there's almost no aggressive expansion for doing this. Good times, I get my wonderful core back. It's Protestant, sadly. It's going to be a long time before I can reconvert it. 16 years. But it's back in my own hands. Fort as well, so... Bully for me. Now our friends up in Bremen are going to have a hard time sieging down Cologne with their limited numbers. Well, let's get our new vassal. Jeez. Arr. Frankfurt is requesting you come to their aid in the Ottoman conquest of Torontal again. Frankfurt against the Ottomans. What? There's there's a few things I don't understand about this.
Why did they label Frankfurt as a co-belligerent? I'm blinking my eyes in disbelief here. But this probably isn't going to go too well for me. When I'm trying to threaten war for this province. I don't want to say no. Oh, Frankfurt is em... Oh. Well. Lithuania, Nevers, Aachen, Norway. I sure hope they get Lithuania involved in this. I was writing war on Bremen here though, but yeah, sure, why not? I'm not lifting a finger to help you. I was planning on telling you, Jake, but well, Jake. Aye, that's fair. Now, it's a little bit reassuring to know that Lithuania is getting involved here. I wonder who's going to win out, though. But now that I'm at war, I can't threaten war, which is a shame. Well, Utrecht will get inside me soon enough. And as for Burgundy, I think I'm just going to annex them. They've got to go. They've caused me too many headaches. And since I had a truce that will last not all that long, 1599, I can get those claims in place beforehand. All of them. Aachen, though. I need to keep an eye on France. Where are they going from here? Well, not allied with the Pope, that's what. They allied Venice instead, and Venice is bleh, down the drain. Please stop pirating me. That's all I ask. I think that's the key. I need to boost it, the pirate hunting, so much that they stay away. That's my guess, though. I don't know. I don't fully know how the AI is calculating that. So, does anybody know? Let's say Barry's core is going to go away from here in a couple of years. If I take this later, can I get Barry nationalists rising up, or are they only going to be French? a shame though, I'd really hoped to be a good guy France and balkanize France. The Gascons we can have. The Toulouse we can have. But so many great nations are going to be lost here. They're going to be French, Jake. Damn. What's the brown country destroying Lithuania? That is Ryazan. And damn are they doing fine. Okay, so the Ottomans are actually getting slapped here. Great Britain even jumping in on everything. I'm pleased to see that. Well, that was a foolish mistake to make. Instead of getting the diplomatic tech cost reduction, I got the diplomatic tech. Pomerania Val- okay, sure, why not? Some crazy stuff going on in this world. But we're progressing fairly swiftly here. Which is good, because we do plan to get some Marinostrum done over the weekend. That'll be easier if we get all this done as well. Okay, good. Bremen took all this land, so they are more likely to give up Friesland when I politely ask them for it. The ain't much Dutch looking to rise up once again. Dutch and Jelra, but they're over in Breda. I can actually get rid of those Bredens if I just deploy enough units here. Hopefully not so much that they take attrition, but... Thirty for thirty. 
and the Bretons as well, I can get rid of them by just throwing enough units over there. And I shall. Since I don't think we're in any immediate danger here. Alright, Castile, once and for all, would you just take your pirates and go? You're barely pirating anything. Because I am only just keeping this alliance with them. If I lose the royal marriage, I lose the alliance. I mean, maybe if I got fleet basing rights, but I don't want to pay them two ducats a month for it. <sighs> oh, Dutch is an accepted culture, so we got that going for us. Take care of the Bretons wishing to rise up due to religious differences. And the Ottomans now enjoying some Muscovite backdoor action. Muscovite conquest of Shkrizov. This is good because I need to enter this war so I can enjoy uh, doing terrible things to other nations. I just missed something pretty important there. Tuscany against Sweden, Bavaria, and Poland, the Swedish conquest of. Uh, I care little for you, Sweden. Always have. No CB Ming. What a. Man. This scrub subbed. People are asking how Asia looks. Let's have a nice look at it. Fairly balkanized. That looks not very good at all. Impressive stunt by the Bachman is there. Not so impressed by their admin technology. Admin 6. They'd be writhing in corruption if this were Mare Nostrum, but it is not. Jake, you got loads of money, build infrastructure. This has been uh, on my mind for a wee while. I want force limit, that's for certain. I should probably just build force limit buildings everywhere. I mean, it's probably the biggest bang for buck given my limited space. Yeah, these are actually both things I want. I'm going to take the money. It's not often I take money over admin, but I've been dripping with admin. Got some training fields on the go, and that'd be nice. Uh, yeah, I love that manpower. Probably a good idea to upgrade my fort as well. Especially the main one on the capital. I need that to last more than a wee while. So that should deal with the Bretons, at least until they next want to rise up. Should get them converted by then. I want a better relationship with our good friends down in Tuscany. So France, what are you up to? Your truce with the Burgundians will be up soon. But you're eyeing up me and Castile here. Jake, do you have all your Burgundian claims? Patience. We still have a lengthy truce with them. Oh, Freddy's dead. So limited in my provinces here. So disgustingly limited. But I know what I want. Oh, I want trade efficiency. No, no, let's not be fooled this time. I need to get this first. Has so much better uses. Are you friends with Great Britain? I am not. We are allied together in a war, but only by coincidence. 
I don't think this war is going to last all that much longer. Their attack against Austria has backfired. Not that I really want Austria being much stronger, but a weaker Ottomans keeps them off the back of Poland. What? Lithuania will renounce their claims. Okay. Okay. Ryazan has an extremely strong relationship with Muscovy. But I would like this war to be over, please, because I have autonomy that needs to tick down here. What policies do you have available, Jake? Not the best ones just yet. I want to switch to a republic quite soon. Do I need to be at peace? Of course I need to be at peace. I wonder if he's going to age by 20 years like he used to. 423 is alright, but could be better, right? Ah, but if I do that I lose my alliance with Castile. Not that it's the most stable alliance known to man, but for the love of God, Castile would just stop pirating me. Gone all this time without embargoing uh, the British. I should have done that long, long ago. I know. Because it's going to increase the dosh I make right here. Okay, well, if it's not making any difference hunting the pirates, then I might as well stop hunting the pirates and start protecting my trade in the English Channel and make that mad money. Time traveling Navarian king slash doge was amazing, sisters. You're right. Kill the Pomeranian army in Frankfurt, someone else says. Not a bad idea, so I'll do it. Then I'm going to stop paying my army because it's unnecessary. Also, I only sent infantry there. Another poor move. But I'm full of poor moves. Got to get that sweet war participation, right? How much did we get for that? 10%. That's really our vassals going in and doing it for us, though. war going on much longer though this autonomy should be a lot lower than it is right now and I've been sitting on 200 here for too long mm, can't even increase my stability well can't go wrong with all that mercantilism Jake get a few heavies to hunt pirates that's just not making the difference though good they topped up their relations with me Still scary though. So hopefully France in the next three years do not gobble up Burgundy. Then I will slaughter them. And I will try to finish off controlling the lowlands. In fact, I should be able to unite it. Oh, okay, I did not realize that. Uh, yes. East Frisia is also part of it. I might just come in and take it by force or uh, threaten war over it. We'll see how it goes. But I need this war to end before I can do any kind of war threatening. And everybody would hate me if I stopped this war before it reached its logical extreme. But why are the Ottomans still in this? They're getting double teamed. Probably because they're winning battles. What was the plan? I missed the intro. The plan was to unite the French region, and the funny thing is it has happened by France. It took us 50 years to grab even one province, and during all that time France got super strong and super friendly with Castile, and they were pretty impenetrable. France coalitioned me and slapped me silly, but we were able to regain everything we lost there. Didn't set us back too much, really. Did us a favor, actually, because it destroyed the French alliance with Castile. 
Ottomans will cede de, 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 and de to Austria. So Austria did become considerably stronger with that. And look at all that aggressive expansion they didn't get. I'm not bitter, but I'm pretty bitter. Alright, Friesland should... Uh, go figure, they don't want to make it mine. At least I have a lot of friends that want to get involved here. Lübeck and Hamburg and Great Britain will side with them. But I can take them on. Great Britain can't drop anything on me. And I'm just looking for one stinking province. Uh, really though, what am I looking at fighting here? Do they have any fortifications at all? They don't. I can just walk in and crush these guys. They are inferior in terms of technology. The only concern is uh, Great Britain dropping off loads of units. So let's get our uh, navies docked up over in Holland. I'll get you over here. And we'll go and crush them. All right, and it's not Imperial, that's the thing. Neither of them are. I could just take both. Can't GB take Brittany from you, Jake? Mm, that is true, so let's make it worthless. So we'll uh, ditch the castle. Uh, I can't see any reason that'll bite me in the arse. Also, I could call in Castile. We have certainly plenty of favours going on there. But Castile... Navy. Probably inferior to the British fleet. Castile have 12 heavies. Great Britain have 14. That doesn't strike me as a good idea. It strikes me as a pretty bad idea. So yeah, they could come and uh, take these, but I would be able to 100% Bremen, and I'm only taking a couple of provinces. They might see the funny side. Oh, what? Uh... Austria declared Castile succession war. Castile, who have you got? Aragon? I didn't join for this, but this is a hugely useful uh, tool for me. Castile is going to beat Austria senseless, especially with these allies, and I'll be only too happy to help out. Mostly because it allows me to declare war on Bremen without Great Britain getting involved. I'll be having Friesland, thanks. I'll worry about the rest of this war later on. It's funny the way the world works out sometimes. I'm just going to work straight for uh, Bremen. We'll detach a few others to take care of these other provinces. I may have rolled a 2 on my dice for today. But the thing is, that's only an indication of your luck. In the end, you make your own. So, uh, Jake, did you become a republic during that short... No, I decided against it. Because I'll be losing that Castilian alliance if I do. I need the power of the... Uh, royal marriages, those royal babies keep me alive. Okay, let's hope we're not walking into something really bad here. I think we're superior, though. So superior that I'm willing to drop off even more units. Oh, yeah. Well, we have this one in the bag. The body bag. Well, as long as the British don't come down smacking me about. And hopefully the French don't take this as a great opportunity to declare war on me. Because I would if I was them. Let's just chase them down and kill them. They have no right existing. Uh, Lundberg, I am fighting your enemies here. I think, uh, I think that might interest... Okay. Them fort rules, yo. Get to it. Rush, kill, destroy. Stop them running away here as well. Oh. I should have allowed them to run there, then I could have actually caught them. 
Oh well. Just hope the British aren't coming to uh, smack me senseless. But I'm not asking for much in this war, I'm just asking for two little provinces. It's not even that much aggressive expansion, but whilst I'm at it, I better break you up with Great Britain. No, that'll be a bit too much to ask. We'll just grab this province and everything will be fine. I will, however, dump all of my cannons onto it, because it's going to make a huge difference to this uh, little siege. When it's just a capital fort, five cannons gives you the maximum artillery bonus. And isn't that just sweet? Yeah, this is Crusader Kings 2 music. I get a lot of questions about the sound packs that I use. I use Crusader Kings 2, uh, Europe Universalis 3, uh, Europe Universalis 4 music, and all the DLCs for all the games. Uh, I do, however, remove some of the lesser DLCs, music that I do not like. That's the kind of uh, that we're looking for from battle. Yeah, this is too easy. Come on. We never surrender, right? There we go. That's all we need. I'm just looking for a couple of provinces, man. Why you gotta be so, uh... Oh, would Frankfurt... <laughs> Frankfurt is the Holy Roman Emperor, and thusly will not get involved in my wars. Okay, that's cool, though. Wouldn't mind a vassal, though. Just like a buffer zone. What if I took this and released Munster? And then Munster started eating this up. Would that be acceptable? I don't want to go ham with aggressive expansion here. But I am just releasing somebody. Uh, then again, I'm already over on the Diplo relations fairly heavily. Mm, one of them is just military access, but... Well, Munster... Oldenburg... Striking me was a bit of a waste of uh, dip at this point. I'll just take the war reparations and the loads of money united. Which looks good. Pleasure doing business. before uh, moving on there. So, as I suspected, the British did get involved. I'm glad the uh, navies can't block you if you own both sides. That gives me nice crossing over here. And all I need to destroy the British. And very soon I'll be coming for the Burgundians as well. They have almost nothing protecting them. <laughs> British landing only cannons. All this fighting over two islands. There's some messed up people in the world. Shake your alliance with Poland is a loveless one anyway. No, it's kind of handy having them there. The clergy wish for land, I'll happily give them probably freeze. Because it's high base tax. I haven't been paying much attention to the estates lately. But I've been drowning in monarch points anyway, so why would I be wanting even more? Happy enough just to sit on those little bonuses. Uh, speaking of not so little bonuses, Force Summit has gone somewhere really nice. Same place that the manpower has gone to. Somewhere acceptably good. Hmm. Still though, Austria, why did you have to contest this one? Maybe it's worth my time investing in this, just so that it speeds it all up. But the British are involved as well, that's never, never great. 